Dave York. It's the Beat at Five. Now, here's Joe. Hey guys, welcome back to Feed at Five with your hashtag of the day, tweets you may have missed, and an excellent show for Friday. I'm Jones, let's feed. First up, Entertainment Weekly tweets Adam Lambert on the evolution of his new album. Artists always have to have an explanation as to why. You ever notice that? Makes them seem more creative than they might be if they were just like, I wrote this song on a bus because I was bored. Nobody wants that. Elle Magazine tweets, how to craft the LinkedIn photo that will get you hired, since most people think you can just use a selfie. Don't do that. Truth is, everyone has their own opinion on photos when they see them. It's amazing then that Elle Magazine has cracked the case. Get your photo advice from the professional photoshoppers at Elle. At Times Square New York City tweets, a crowd gathers at Times Square witnessing the one ton of ivory being crushed that was obtained illegally. It's amazing what brings people together. We know it's already obtained, we know it's valuable, so, you know, we're gonna destroy it because the way in which it was obtained was illegal. Sound logic. We know we stole a flying saucer from the Martians, but we're gonna destroy it. We're not gonna keep it because, you know, it was stolen. Yeah. <laughs> right. Moving on. Men's Health Magazine tweets, are you the ultimate men's health guy? There's only three days left to apply to be on the cover. That would be a good Father's Day gift, huh? Maybe you could sign your dad up for this in secret. Are they running out of healthy men for the covers? Your hashtag of the day brought to you by Penn State York is National Kissing Day. Check it out. Grandfather tweets, an unconventional family gets a first time grandfather. Watch Grandfather this fall on Fox TV. Man, I sound like I'm just doing a commercial for him. Wow, I wonder what the elevator pitch for that show was like. So we're gonna make a show about this guy whose kid has a kid and it kind of cramps his style. It'll be funny, I promise. Plus there's a built-in spinoff there called Grandmother, obviously. Wired tweets, a modern ethical phone that you can repair instead of replace. Is this the worst idea from a company standpoint ever? Well, think again. At first, making a phone that intentionally breaks so you have to buy a new one sounds like the way to go if you're trying to sell phones. Then again, if a company makes a phone that intentionally breaks so that you have to buy expensive proprietary parts all the time, then they're making money. The same thing works in the automobile industry. Make a bunch of things that break and charge a lot for the parts. Simple, easy to remember. Product Hunt tweets, Trover, the app for travelers to connect and share. You think your kids are on the phone too much during a vacation now? Well now they actually have a reason to be. All right everyone, that's our show. Thanks for stopping on by. Have a great Father's Day. Until next week, I'm Jones. Stay loud.